Look. Look at it. It's Ubuntu in Windows. Yeah. Yeah. Ubuntu in Windows. Look at it. I open up Firefox. It opens. It's it's Ubuntu in Windows. Now you know you want to figure out how to do this for yourself. So this is what we're going to do. Open up Firefox. And I'm going to move this little bugger out of my way. And go to casemanrules.co.cc and look at it. It's beautiful. And post on the forum and all that. Now open a new tab and go to this right here. PortableUbuntu.SourceForge.net. The link will be in the description. And go to it and click download from SourceForge.net, which is spelled wrong. I wonder if they'll fix that. And it will open up right here. And you can begin your download as soon as the little boxy pops up. Boxy. And save. And that will begin. It takes a really long time because it's a really big file. So just do something else while that's going on. You can get out of that as quickly as possible. And after it's done downloading, you'll end up with this right here. PortableUbuntu.exe. Double click it. And you can extract it. Extract it to where you want to put it, and you get this. Open it up, and you got all this stuff. What you want to do is find run underscore portable underscore ubuntu dot bat. Right click and click run as administrator. Or, whoops, right click it, create shortcut, drag it to your desktop, get a neat little icon off the internet, and there you go, and you can run it from there. Wait, oh no. That's bad. That's gotta be in there. Okay. And you have it all set up right there. And you can go ahead and hold on while this closes. I can show you how it opens up. Once you've got it, and it's all extracted. This will probably take you at least a half hour to get all, to get to this point. Right click this right here and click run it as, as administrator. You can X out of that. As you'll notice, this little thing in the uh, in the tray pops up. You can click on it and see what it's doing, and you can watch it. But you're not going to understand any of that, so just minimize it. Click on that again to make it go away, and you get your nice little splash screen coming up right here. And during this time, it's going through and just configuring all this nice stuff for you automatically because it loves you. And what's this? Ubuntu in Windows. And it does take a second to open up because it is running off a of virtual machine sort of configuration. <laughs> and it's in like a shell for Windows and all that. So you can mess around with it. Open up your home folder and genome. Click around, do what you like, and mostly have fun. It's even better for dual monitors because you can put Ubuntu in one monitor and have Windows in the other. So it's great. And it's a lot of fun. But here's the best part. I haven't even gotten to the best part yet. The best part is that you can go ahead and put this, all this right here, Ubuntu and everything, on your flash drive and run it from anywhere. Yeah, it's a portable app. Portable Ubuntu, portable app. So, I've already set it up in a very nice and pretty configuration right here. It's even got the Ubuntu logo, which I'll be showing you how to do in a minute. And you can just go in here once it's on there and run it just like you ran the last one. And you can do it from any computer, as long as you've got normal permissions, like they haven't blocked the command prompt or anything. Which, if you're trying to do it from school, they probably have, unless you have a really terrible admin at your school. But, anyway, 
and you can do the same thing as I've done here on your flash drive. So you just click on it and run that as administrator. Now I'm going to show you how to, on your flash drive, get this neat little icon, which is very pretty. And I figured I'd just add this in here because if you're going to dedicate it to Ubuntu, you might as well because it looks cool. So what you're going to want to do is open up Notepad and type this right here. Auto run in brackets space label equals wait actually lowercase label equals and we're going to call it Ubuntu enter icon all caps equals and now make sure that the icon which you can download off the internet I'll have a link in the description to the one that I used here for the um, .ico file and make sure that that is on the root of your flash drive. Mine is, I've just hidden the stuff so that it looks nicer. But, whoa, that's ugly. But it's right here, the, I, the .ico and the auto run, which we're creating right now. So just type an icon, and if it's on the root of your flash drive, just call it what it is, ubuntu.ico, file, save as, save it to the root of your flash drive, Go to all files and type in autorun.inf. Make sure it has the .inf at the end and make sure it's called autorun. And once you do that, you'll have these two things right here on the radio flash drive along with this and the shortcut if you created it. Now eject your flash drive and reinsert it. And when you go to my computer, there it is. And it's got that nice little um, icon right there for you. So there you go. That is how to use Ubuntu Portable on your flash drive and on your home computer and running it in Windows, which no one can dispute is very, very cool. And you can do everything from in here. It's just like Ubuntu. It runs in a virtual machine sort of configuration. That's what all this junk is. And, um, yeah. So there you go. That's how to um, put Ubuntu on your home computer and run it in Windows without installing it or on other partitions and on your USB flash drive. Thank you for watching this video tutorial by Kesoman Rules. Have a great day and go to my website, kesomanrules.co.cc. Thanks guys and see you next time.